Vegas Country, 95.5 KWNR, and the Vegas Dirt. One of the uh, movies opening up this weekend is October Baby, and tonight we're talking to one of the stars in the movie, Chris Sly. Uh, Chris, how you doing, buddy? Man, I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing awesome. It's inevitable. You know, a lot of people are going to see this movie, and they're going to recognize you from American Idol. How right. different is your life after a show like that? Uh, you know, for a while it was crazy. Now it's kind of calmed back down. You know, we're five seasons out from my season, and so uh, my my life is pretty pretty normal. Uh, you know, I, I get to do what I love for a living, and that's nice. But it's it's great, man. One of the things that made you stand out on the show was your sense of humor. That was one of the things that I really loved about you on that show. And it's nice to see that in this movie, October Baby, it really carried over. I don't know, did they write your character like that, or was that just you bringing it out? A little bit. Like, I mean, I was I knew that I was supposed to be the comic relief, but um, like I basically ad lib nearly every line that I had in the movie. You know, they would say, "Okay, give us one take with your actual lines, and then do what you want." And so normally, I do one take with the line. And then like four or five or six takes of just ad libbing stuff, and they ended up in almost every case using the ad lib stuff. So that was kind of nice. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. That actually answers my next question because I was gonna ask you about uh, one of my favorite scenes in the film is when you guys are first getting the car and you first venture off to New Orleans, and everybody just having this talk, and it felt very genuine. It, it felt like it was almost not scripted. Like you guys were just having such a great time. Is that the case? Yeah, you know that that scene was actually uh, scripted, but I kept on changing the lines <laughs> and and so uh, eventually like these other like really well trained actors begin to come along with me and and it ended up feeling yeah I, that's one of my favorite scenes also it just feels very very natural and uh, and actually kind of funny in a realistic sort of way instead of like a contrived movie sort of way. Another scene that I really, really like that you were involved uh, is when you guys are on a beach and you're you're out there and you're just jamming on a guitar and one of the other characters says, you're really good, you should go on one of those shows and you say, those shows are rigged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about uh, that? Was yeah. that scripted, or was that like really how you feel? Yeah, that was a scripted moment, and <laughs> uh, and I and I actually kept, I actually thought it was really funny because you know it, it's kind of breaking down the fourth wall a little bit, mm -hmm. and and so like I just I was just like you know they're not really rigged, uh, you know well at least American Idol I don't, I don't think is, but you know it, it was just kind of one of those funny off the cuff moments that ended up making it on the film. Well, people who aren't familiar familiar with the story in October Baby, it's pretty powerful stuff. It's about an abortion survivor. What drew you to the script? Over the last five years, I've received a couple of handfuls of offers. Like, I was offered a role in Final Destination 5, you know, oh, yeah? and I just decided <laughs> that that wasn't really, that really wasn't the, the role that I wanted to be my first movie role. You, you didn't know? want to get killed off, right? Yeah, I mean, because I was supposed to be the guy that died, like, getting a massage or something, and so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh... So anyway, so I just had really been thinking about what it was that I wanted to be my first role. And when this role came along, I just thought it was funny and I thought that the movie had a message. But the thing that I liked about it is that it, the, a, a lot of quote unquote Christian movies are so preachy and it's basically like, it's like a sermon in an hour and 20 minute, an hour and 40 minute movie. I'd been offered a couple of those kind of roles in, in Christian movies and I was just not interested in being in a sermon. I feel like art should be art and you know, a sermon should be a sermon. And so the, what drew me to this movie was that it asked questions, but it didn't tell anyone in the audience how to think. I was really drawn to it because I was the comic relief. I thought it was a small enough role that it wasn't like they were going to put me on the poster, which, you know, I hate when they have like the one semi-famous guy who's not really all that famous, but they put him on the poster anyway, mm -hmm. you know, and I did not want that at all. So, um, man, it, it, it just ended up being the right role, and it's been great. I mean, literally in the last two weeks, as everything started to ramp up, I've received, like, four offers for, like, a couple of TV shows and <laughs> all this kind of stuff. You know, it's like, it ended up being a good choice for me. That's great, man. So that actually, that that's a great segue for the next question. What's next for Chris Lai? Well, um, you know, I'll always do music, I, but uh, I was a drama, drama and music major in college, and and kind of focused on music for the last 
you know, 14, 15 years. Um, what, I, what I came to when I made this movie was that, man, I loved making this movie. It was so much fun. It was five days on set, and I just got to act up. And, you know, all the things that people might find annoying about me as an artist, you know, that I'm a smart aleck and, you know, that I'm ADD and all that stuff. It was perfect <laughs> for acting, you know? Yeah. And, and I was just reminded of how much I loved doing this and so um i have a feeling that in the next couple of years that i will probably make the transition to where my main uh, mode of what i do as an artist is going to be more on the acting and you know i write and I, and I hopefully will get to direct soon i'm directing a short this year so we'll see how all that stuff goes but i have a feeling that you know most of my energy is going to go towards uh you know writing directing and acting pretty soon Chris, before we let you go, tell us really quick why we should go see this movie this weekend. This movie is a movie that has a message that I think that uh, whether or not you, uh, you know, you're a quote unquote Christian or not, that this is a movie that you can get behind because it's a story of forgiveness and it's a story of forgiving through really tough situations. And, uh, and man, it's a story that just about anybody can resonate with. Chris, I couldn't agree with you more. I thought that they did a really great job at taking a such serious subject matter and making it not feel preachy at all. I really enjoy the film, the chemistry between all the characters. Gotta give this movie a thumbs up. October Baby opening up this weekend. Chris Sly, thank you so much for uh, taking some time out of your day and giving us a call. Yeah, man, thanks so much for having me on.